Hello YouTube, just a quick video from me, Jake Wild Taylor, showing you my collection of Super Nintendo games. First of all I have my sports games, I have two strikers. One, because this one doesn't really work very well, it's all yellowed up. And secondly, because when I bought this one it was only, I think it was like a quid, and it was boxed, so I thought it might as well. And I've got Super International Cricket. It's not very good, but I have the box again. It wasn't very much. Then Exhaust Heat. This game's quite good. It's a good game. Then we have IndyCar. Nigel Mansell's. It's a good game. It's kind of 3D. Maybe I'll show you at a later date. In this row we have my games that use the Super FX chip. First of all, Star Wing. It's a very good game. Very good use of the chip. Good 3D sprites and polygons. Next, Stunt Race FX. Again, it's a good game. Kind of weird graphics. MN12 Bird did a good review of this. Yeah, maybe I'll show it. Because the PAL version runs slower. I haven't really played it much. And Doom. It's a good game if you can cope with the slow gameplay. But again, it's slower in our country because we're in PAL. But the music of these games are still good because of an extra chip. So I don't know if you had the console in America and where it's running at, say it might run at normal speed, would it run, would the music run faster than it should? Anyway, next we have Super Mario World. It's a very good game. If you have a Super Nintendo, you got to pick this one up. It's arguably the best Super Nintendo game ever released. Next we have Super Mario All-Stars. Again, very good. It's a compilation of Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, The Lost Levels, which is just the Japanese release of Mario 2, and Super Mario 3. You could get versions of this with that one built in as well, but I've got them separately. I don't know if they released that over here, I haven't seen it. I think they did. And Donkey Kong Country, again. It's a very good game. As we are with most of these Nintendo games. Next, The Last Action Hero. This game's terrible. I wouldn't recommend it. Rise of the Robots, again, it's a okay fighting game. Still wouldn't really recommend it. And Super Strike Gunner, this game is really really good, it's like a 2D shooter almost like Vanguard but you don't shoot in the four directions or games such as that or 1943 and finally SimCity mm, that's alright, not very good nowhere near as good as the PC version and I have a box just to show you what they look like to one of my games you can see Woolworths, even though it's <laughs> closed down but yeah, it only cost me a pound box. And the box is just cardboard, screenshots, text. Inside you have so the manual, etc. I think. Yeah. The manual which is actually in colour, which is quite good. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Jacob Taylor.